What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast. And on today's segment, which I call Candid Conversation with Ezzy, that's Candid Conversation with Ezzy. The question is, what is the value of your free service? What is the value of your free service? And I think if you go back to a previous episode, I don't remember which one it was or which uh, what year it was, I spoke about the value of your services. And there's a reason why... I decided to have this conversation again because, you know, you watch things in our communities and a lot of people may not be privy to the mistakes that you've made and you're trying to help. You're trying to help people from not making the same mistake that you already made. As a matter of fact, one of my colleagues used to always say, why walk that path when I've already passed it? And I'm sharing the information to you based on my experiences of walking through that path. Okay? So stick and stay. I'll be right back after this. Ezzy Spotlight offers a variety of digital and media services. Visit EzzySpotlight.com today for info. All right, guys, so welcome back to Ezzy Spotlight. And our conversation today is, what is the value of your free service? What is the value of your free service? Um, and guys, this is real talk, okay? I'm going to share my own personal experiences with y'all because there's a saying that experience is the greatest teacher. And a lot of times people share experiences based on what they're told, or what they've learned from somewhere, maybe in a classroom. But when you actually experience something beforehand, you've witnessed it yourself, that teaching is on a whole different level. And this is what I'm about to share with you guys today, all right? Uh, I got a few pointers, and I'm gonna start with this. Now, for many, many years, I've owned a platform, and those of you who don't know, 106 Live Radio, I've owned that, been the director, founder, creator of 106 Live Radio for many years. Um, I've had people who actually came into the studio, uh, sat on my show to talk about their services, their books, their events, their products, and what have you. And uh, I have seen and encountered the same people at events, and they've walked past me. Yeah. Now, a lot of times I know, you know, if you meet someone for the very first time or someone that is not regularly in your circle, but you meet them one time and you happen to meet them again, there's a good chance that you're going to remember, especially when you had an experience of being on a TV show or a radio show or some type of encounter. But how ironic it is when you come across these people and they walk past you like you never existed or they never met you before, okay? What is the value of your free service? Now, I guarantee you, if these same people had paid to come on my platform to talk about their stuff, they're never going to forget that. I'm just saying, okay? I've seen it happen. I've looked at other people who charged for the same services that I provided and they never get the same treatment. Second of all, you know, I don't take credit for anyone who have passed through me or connected with me and I've helped them along the way because sometimes, you know, when you're helping someone, you don't do it with the expectations of getting something in return, okay? But this is just an acknowledgement where I've seen many people because many people have walked through my platform um, and they might have elevated their status to a different level, which is great. Happy for them. Happy for all of them. Round of applause, as a matter of fact. Um, and they've given credit to people or given credit to everyone else but Ezzy. 
Yeah, I've seen it. I've known people who've met people after they met me. They get credit for contributing to that person's success. Um, but this dude never really get the recognition. And that's okay. It's okay with me. All right. What is the value of your free service? That's just my experience. Uh, additionally, you know, you bring people on your platform to talk about their their services. Real talk. Um, as we all know, the SE Spotlight is a multimedia platform. It can be an audio platform. It can be a visual platform, which means that you're watching the video like you're doing right now. And uh, many times we have these conversations uh, where we discuss the services that you provide or that someone provides. We all know that editing videos, well, just in case you didn't know, I don't think we all know that. I may take that back, okay? <laughs> but... Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, editing videos is a long process. It's a very lengthy process. It takes time. And so you have this conversation, what is 30 minutes or an hour, and you go through these videos. It takes a lot longer than that to edit a 30-minute video to grab what you want from it, much less an hour. And you sit down and you, edit that video for hours. You post the video and the person to whom that you're featuring on your platform doesn't repost it or share it. You even went as far as sending them a clip that way they can post it on their specific page because not all platforms can share links. Some links are just, you just can't share a link on Instagram but you have to actually have the footage. So a lot of times when I'm doing my videos, you know, if I do a YouTube link whatever you can share that on facebook but if you uh have an instagram page you know i'll most likely send you a copy of the actual clip so that way you can post it on your page as well uh the ultimate objective here is i'm showcasing you on my platform the people who follows me can see the services that you provide and we all talk about supporting small businesses in our communities so obviously, if you share that video that you've been featured on as well, then somebody is going to see what that person provides. Additionally, the folks that follows you, you get to remind them, hey, I'm here, I'm here, this is what I'm selling, okay? And oftentimes, they too don't even post that clip that you send them, okay? That's just my experience. Then fourth, my fourth point here is, and this is just, again, my experience in understanding the question, what is the value of your free service? Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of people know me, uh, many of them got businesses, and if I need to find the services that I provide, I know how to find it. I know to go on the social media page, I know to go on the website, I just know because I follow them. But in my case, you know, I get a lot of DMs and text messages and phone calls of people asking me, is it, what's your email again? Uh, what is this again? And how can I find your information again? Is it spotlight.com, for example? All right. Now, if it's a situation where I'm not constantly on social media that I know these people are on, that's a different story. But I'm on there posting all the time. And I'm seeing them posting or I'm seeing them commenting on stuff all the time as well. But when it comes to you, they don't know how to find your information. I'm just saying. We talk about support. Um, it may not apply to everyone because everyone's experience is just different. But when they talk about support, this is what I'm talking about. You know, oftentimes people may get invited to a major platform and that major platform is not going to post their information. Okay, so they may get an invite, but before they actually appear on that platform, they're going to post on their social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, everything, that they have an appearance coming up on this date and this time. They're going to post the link and everything else so that everyone can actually check it out. Even after they made the appearance, they will actually post a clip or a link or something like that to show that they've been there. But because you're a small business in the community, they won't even share the information after you even edited the video and sent it to them. 
Okay. Now I've seen all of that has happened. It's real talk. So again, the question is, what is the value of your free service? What I've learned over the years, after I've learned that path or those experiences, and I've transitioned to the fact that if you need my services and you have to pay, I realize people respect you more. I did not know that. I had to go through that process to learn the value of my free service, to add the real value to it, to under respect that I think I deserve. And I've gotten it without even saying a word. People will call me and say, hey, I need that. I was like, okay, well, here's an invoice. <laughs> Before you know it, <laughs> my bills are being paid. They get the service that they paid for and they share the stuff. It's ironic. It's really, it's, I never understood because I always felt like you're trying to net, you know, I'm trying to network. I'm trying to connect. So if I do the free services, I spend the time to edit and all the stuff. People will actually appreciate and like you for what you're doing. But that is not always the case. So again, you know, if you have a small business, you have a service, you have to know what your true value is. And as a result of that, you have to ask yourself the question, what is the value of your free service? I'm just saying. Now, there are, there are other situations where uh, people would have other people who may have uh, a larger following on social media. And they may connect with them as well. And they're going to post those things. But because your following is a lot less, they're not going to showcase you. But here's, what, here's, what I, here's one thing that I've also learned. A lot of folks who have a lot of followers on social media, that doesn't necessarily result into a successful business. You got a lot of people following you, but not, nobody's buying from you. I know I don't have a lot of followers on social media. But guess what? I'm comfortable where I'm at because I don't rely on the followers to pay my bills. I rely on the services that I provide to pay my bills. And as much as you have all this following or as if we're, as a DJ, you know, people are, you're always on someone's flyer and you're always doing an event. That don't mean you're making a lot of money either. I'm just saying. I know that for a fact because I've, heard the stories and I'm in the industry and I have these conversations and I know what people offer sometimes. I've seen it. I know what it is. But my conversation is always different because again, um, you know, I offer a service and I got a family to feed just like anybody else. So the question comes back to what is the value of your free service? There are a lot of times people feel like you have to offer them free service so they can support you. But where did we get the mindset that you have to give me something for free in order for me to support you? I mean, I can give you a discounted rate. That is support. You can, you can buy from me. That is support. Yes, sometimes we can collaborate and we do pro bono, I do for you, you do for me, and that is support. Yes, the free service comes sometimes. That is also support. But it's not always all the time. You can't just continue to bring free service all the time. How are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to continue to provide the services if you're providing free service all the time? It is tough, especially in this kind of uh, environment, in this economy that we living in right now. It is really tough to support anything for free. This bills are not a, it's not cheap. Like it's expensive to go out to an event. I mean, gas price is not cheap anymore, and we accept the expensive rate because we have no choice. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, <laughs> everything comes back to understanding the value of your free service. You know, 
these are all my personal experiences. I've, you know, after all these years that I've had these platforms and do stuff, you know, up to a few years ago, I, I still found myself reaching out to people and saying, hey, let's collaborate. I see what you're doing. I know what I have to offer. I think if we come together and connect our services, I'm not tapping into your business, but if you provide a certain service and I provide a certain service, we can collaborate and we can tag team and make it an even bigger service. And after all the things that I've done, after all the things that I've earned and the whole nine yards, I got people who still reject me. And I got people who still ignore me. They literally would give me crickets. I've had those. And it's real talk. But here's what I got to say. You know, sometimes we, we tend to overlook the people who are doing good things in our communities because we feel like we're bigger than them or we're on the same level with them or if I support them, they're going to grow faster than I can or I will. Um, and I got to the point where I don't worry about that too much because I've seen the conversation again from the people that I think I want to support and collaborate with who have ignored me, treated me one way because they simply just ignored this. You're telling me that, okay, well, uh, nah, bro, I'm not, I don't see you like that or I'm not ready to collaborate with you. Whatever the situation is, I understand that. But what I find different is when I meet somebody who are, who are already established and you, you share with them your vision, you share with them your concept and you share with them what you can offer to them, they are a lot more receptive than the people who are on your level. And again, I never understood the concept behind this until I had to experience it myself to figure out exactly how does this thing work. It's, it's very interesting that people, on, people who are on similar level like you who are trying to grow, the values, the services that you provide or because they probably feel like their services are better and that you're not worthy of collaboration. But then the people who are above you, okay, I think that can work. I wouldn't know that if I didn't walk that path. And this is the reason why I'm having this segment today because I wanted to share that information with you guys to explain to you exactly how, why, when all these things happen. And hopefully the person who are just getting started and having those difficult times and not understanding why, hopefully the information here today can enhance your knowledge to help you prevent or avoid making the same mistakes that others have made in the past. So once again, guys, if you're just joining us, it is as you spotlight. Don't forget to make sure you like, subscribe to this channel. If you like what you've seen, like us on all social medias, share the link, share the videos. Um, there are a lot of great conversations uh, on previous episodes of the Ezzy Spotlight podcast. Um, I also got more great things coming. So don't forget, make sure you follow, 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 don't follow me home. Just follow me on social media at Ezzy Spotlight. And for more details on how you can benefit from the services I provide, you can always log on to ezzyspotlight.com. Stick and stay with us. Stick and stay with me. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Blessings.